Today we felt like eating pizza. So, we decided to make a seven foot slice of pizza. Let's do this. To start off, we need four kilos of flour. Now we need eight teaspoons of salt. Now we each need 1300 mils of water. And make sure it's pretty warm. So now we each need to put 28 grams of dry yeast into this warm water. Smells like popcorn. And now you stir it and you wait for it to bloom, which basically means come alive. Now that's gonna take about five minutes, but this process is necessary because then your yeast will not be active if you don't let it bloom. So now that the yeast is blue, what we want to do is we want to get our spatula just like this, Bob, come in. And we want to make a nice little well just in the center because that is exactly where that yeast is going to go into. Then what you do is just grab it like this and pour it straight in, all of it. You got to make sure you get every drop in because any wasted part will make it not rise properly. You just add in a little bit of olive oil to that as well. Then just gently get it over and around so that the flour starts meshing in with the yeast all at once. And once you keep doing this, it's just gonna keep meshing in until you got a mini dough ball. Or in our case, a giant dough ball. We've got this flour and we're gonna lightly dust this bench. Now when your table looks like, you know, something out of a fairy dream, we get our dough here and we pour it straight out there, but you need to make sure that you get all of your dough out of this bowl. Now this is the fun step. You get your hands, put some oil on them, do that as well Johnny. Wipe it in and this is so the dough doesn't stick to your hands. And now it's time to knead this. You need to knead this huge dough pile for 10 minutes without stopping. So we're going to do that right now. Let's do it. Now when your hands get a little bit sticky like this, you just add a bit more olive oil to your hands and you continue. Don't add too much flour, even if it's sticky, because then your dough is going to get really hard and dense and you don't want that for pizza dough. Now we're about halfway done. Now take a look how much dough we have. Now this is for a seven foot long pizza. So if you're doing this at home and you need a knead for your pizza, it should look a little bit like this. All right, bring it in. Just like this, this is how yours should look. Because I mean, ours is a seven foot long pizza and yours is just one pizza, so. <laughs> so now when you wanna check when it's done, you wanna just grab a piece of it like this. And you wanna stretch this piece out. Now, this shouldn't rip. That means it's not done. What you wanna see when it is done is that needs to be see-through without ripping. So we still have a bit more. All right, let's keep going. Now when they're at this point and they are huge, we need to fuse them because we need one giant dough ball for one giant piece of pizza. So, we fuse them. Now let's knead that. Done. You see how you can see through that? That's what it has to look like. Now this is a very important step. You need a damp towel to put over your giant dough ball. There's the dough ball. Let's put this over. Good night, dough ball. See you in two hours. So now it's time to make the delicious pizza sauce. We're using three cans of the organic diced Italian tomatoes. Now you wanna crush those diced tomatoes because if you don't, the sauce will be too thick. Now we're going to put in three bottles of tomato puree. We need three quarters of a cup of tomato paste. Guys, trust me, this sauce is delicious. If you make this at home, you're not going to be upset. Now you want to put half a tablespoon of black pepper. Now we want to put a quarter cup of mixed herbs. 
Also, a quarter cup of garlic powder. Now you can put half a cup of chicken stock. And last of all, one teaspoon of sugar. And this step is optional, but I think it makes it a little bit better. Now we mix this all together. So now this is a huge batch. So we're gonna let it simmer for 30 minutes. Stir it ev roughly every five minutes. That's how you're gonna have the most delicious sauce. So as you can see, after two hours, this is like tripled in size. Now that's what happens. Now let's do the big unveiling. Ready? Oh my goodness. Guys, just so you can see how big this is. And this is just dough. We're gonna turn this into a huge slice of pizza. Now it's time to make our giant slice. We need to make the shape. So let's start doing this. I'm thinking I'm gonna just start rolling it in sections. As you can see, we're stretching it out right now to make this huge seven foot slice pizza. But we need to get it into that shape and that's gonna be a bit difficult. So it's a bit too wide here. So we're gonna cut a bit off and add it to the, to the top of this. So. Look at all that, just slash straight up. <laughs> all right, now I've got my measuring tape. Let's see if we've got the right length. We need seven foot, because we want the world's largest slice of pizza, so let's start it right there, right at the tip. All right, one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet. Literally on the line, so we need to just roll it up just a little bit more and we have a seven foot pizza slice. So now we've just set out all of this tin foil and we're gonna arrange the piece in this huge slice because that's the only way we can get it onto the cooker. Now it's time for the funnest part. We need to sauce this up, cheese it up, and put whatever toppings we want on this slice. Let's do it. Look at how awesome this is, guys. Seriously, this is gonna be the nicest pizza slice ever, literally. It's so big. Oh man, like look at this. How can you not want to eat this right now? You know what? It's so big, I'm not even sure if all this sauce is gonna be enough. <laughs> we have a lot of sauce here. This is a humongous slice. Guys, I hope you really try this at home. Obviously not a seven foot slice, because this is a world record, but something like this. Make a pizza at home with your family. It's, oh, it's fun. Okay, so for cheeses, we're gonna do a mixture of mozzarella and tasty cheese. And obviously this is a humongous slice of pizza. So we're gonna use a humongous amount of cheese. So let's do this. Just in case you guys didn't know, the sun is literally down. We have been recording for, I reckon, like eight to 10 hours straight of making this pizza. It's been really hard. And now, it's for the funnest part, let's put the toppings on this delicious seven foot long pizza. Woo! Now we have the premium chorizo pepperoni. This stuff is delicious. So we're gonna put this around the pizza because who doesn't love a pepperoni pizza? Ooh, Come yeah. on guys, it's like the, one of the best pizzas. Comment down below which pizza you would make if you had this opportunity right now.
Now guys, personally, I like some capsicum on my pizza, so let's spread some of this in some of this delicious section right here. All right guys, now we're gonna add some olives just to this section, gonna be delicious. And might as well sprinkle a few on the capsicums as well. All right guys, now it's time for some pineapple. Come on, you gotta love pineapple on a pizza. Let's do it, let's get this on there. Sprinkle this all over just like this. This is gonna be so, so nice. Guys, you just add the toppings to how you like it if you're making it at home. Guys, as you can see, we put all the toppings on the cheese, the pepperoni, the olives, the pineapple, all of it. Now the hard part. We need to cook this seven foot long pizza and we have just the way to do it. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do is cut this huge slice into four segments and then once we've done that, we're gonna reattach them at the end and we're gonna have one giant slice. All right, so as you can see, we've just transferred it to this space alien contraption, that's what it looks like, but we're making an oven out of a barbecue right now and that's the only way we can cook slices this big. So let's see if this works. First we put the lid on. Now, we seal it in, like an oven. So now, as you can see, we've literally capsulated this in. It's literally sealed off in every aspect, and it's an oven. So let's turn it on. So as you guys can see, we've cooked the first slice, and it is looking delicious. Oh, so now, so we need to do the same thing with the rest of this beautiful pizza, then we rejoin it. Let's do it. So take a look, guys. This is our giant seven-foot-long cook. Pizza. This took us literally longer than you guys could imagine, but it's here and now we get to eat it. So Johnny, Let's where do you want to try? I'm going straight for this spot right here. I'm going to try this part right here. To be honest, I think that looks pretty good. Actually, he's right. That does look good. I still can't believe that. This is taller than me. This is one slice of pizza, not a whole pizza. One slice. It's crazy. That's worth it. You know what? We've got a lot of people to share this pizza with, so... Mm. Oh, wow! We that better get good. to eating. We'll see you guys in the next one. See, see you later, guys. guys. See you later, guys.